Hi, I'm Glenn Dennis and I'm a mentor here at Pam Transport. I've been doing this for a while now and I've been getting a lot of questions on the team driving portion of Pam Transport. And of course, the thought of sharing a small space with someone out here on the road is going to raise a lot of questions. Some of the questions may be, where am I going to put my stuff? When do we sleep? Where do we sleep? And maybe just, what if me and my teammate don't get along? Well, hopefully today I can clear some of that up for you, and I'll just tell you uh, the main parts about team driving and what you should look for. Just to start it off, let's just say the main thing about team driving is money. That is your ultimate goal in this business. Team driving is good because you've got two people. Say you've got to cover so many miles you've got to get from Florida to California. Well, one person is going to take forever to do that. You can only drive 11 hours in a day. You can only be on duty 14 hours in a day. So 11 hours of driving is only going to get you so far. Well, when you team drive, you got basically 22 hours of clock. 22 hours of driving. That's two people driving as far as they can. Some of the advantages of team driving, you get more miles, you get better loads. Uh, you're not actually bored in the truck. You got somebody. You have somebody to talk to, and make more money. Simple as that. There's not really many disadvantages to team driving, other than you don't have the truck to yourself. Or well, really, I guess you could say a disadvantage to team driving is you don't know if you're going to get a, get along with the person. But that's just. It depends on how you pick your partner or who you get set up with. That's all up on you. Depends on your attitude, really. I have to do it with somebody new every 14 days. So I have to figure out what their habits are, what things they like, what things they don't like. To make a, an exception for them sometimes, and sometimes I don't. It just depends. Um, but everybody's different. So... It's not really easy for me to deal with everyone, but sometimes I just have to suck it up and deal with it. But there are times when you just have to set the rules, and that's pretty much it. But team driving is the better route for the better money. Hopefully this info helped clear up what team driving is and isn't. Although it's not for everybody, I do think it's best to consider it with an open mind and it will definitely help you gain experience quickly and increase your paycheck.